My name is Siren. I'm the director for Aeros Geotech, the company that does uh, drone accessories in Malaysia. And we are already in this particular industry for the past three years. As you can see, this is actually in Telo uh, Intan district and the state of Perak in Malaysia. It is almost about 300 over hectares. We have a team now which is doing uh, point to point Oryctus beetle spraying. We believe that this will resolve the uh, unmatured uh, farms through with the uh, rhinoceros beetle, which is an insect. For spraying, conventionally, there is manual labour and semi-mechanised. For conventional labour, each person can spray roughly about 3 to 5 hectares a day. As for semi-mechanised, it will be roughly about uh, 10 to 15 uh, hectares. As for drone, what we are doing currently is we are using T Agras T10. This will assist the plantation to spray roughly about 8 to 12 hectares a day to resolve their manpower issue. For T10, what we are currently doing is we practically change the particular nozzles. This particular modification is basically to spray exactly in the middle of the pump compared to the conventional method which is not to be able to be applied uh, using T10. So the idea is actually to ensure that uh, each spray with a height of roughly about 1.5 meters above palm uh, is uh, sprayed towards the crown. Uh, this is where the set is side been uh, controlled. Control that uh, we see is almost about 99%. Oil palm in, in Malaysia is quite crucial for the food security and uh, the export market. The GDP growth which we presume is cultivating almost about 50 billion for the next 10 years. Currently from what we see, there is only less than 10% of uh, drone being used in oil palm in Malaysia, especially in the immature oil palm. As a service provider, we will always think about uh, the future prospect uh, in the industry. The drone is widely used in paddy and it's quite niche in Malaysia for oil palm usage. In Malaysia itself, there is roughly about uh, 600,000 hectares of uh, immature oil palm. We actually not only open the market, we also show the industry players and also the plantation that drone technology and mechanization does exist and does help to resolve uh, the issues of labour shortage and food security in Malaysia. At the moment, we are very fond of using Agras T10. We believe that uh, this small and quite efficient model will be able to produce better and expected volume of jobs.